people go out every year looking for meteorites. And those missions, although they're extremely hard to organise and challenging, the, the scientific benefit to them happens after the meteorites are collected, once they've been analysed. The difference of what we have is that we're actually hypothesising where the meteorites will be. So actually our, our hypothesis relates to the data that people usually just gather. Now, what our hypothesis is, is that there is a layer of iron meteorites just below the surface. Because in Antarctica, although they give, it gives the largest proportion of collected meteorites on Earth, the proportion of iron meteorites is only about half a percent. So that's about an order of magnitude lower than the proportion of iron meteorites collected elsewhere on Earth. And so there's this missing number of iron meteorites in Antarctica. And we started to think, well, where could they be? How could we find these? And we were able to use uh, mathematics to isolate the key physics and then predict the sort of where these meteorites will be. And we were able to predict that iron meteorites are likely to be hiding just below the surface of the ice. And how that is, is as, because as, as these meteorites are drawn towards the oceans by the pressure of the, of the flowing ice, um, they will get busted up against mountains sometimes. And as that brings them to the surface, all the meteorites get exposed to increasing levels of solar radiation. So they basically get warmed up. The closer they get to the top of the ice, the warmer they are. But with iron meteorites, they have a really high thermal conductivity. So they're able to transfer that solar energy from the top surface of the meteorite down to the bottom. So as this meteorite is coming up to the top level of the ice, it feels more and more heat energy on here. It quickly transfers to the bottom. And as it does that, it's able to actually melt the ice underneath and sink back down again. So the ice is bringing it up, but the meteorite's actually burning its way back down through the ice. And that relative motion allows it to have this, uh, this kind of perception of hanging just below the surface. And that's what we're proposing, um, explains the absence of iron meteorites in Antarctica. There is this hanging layer of iron meteorites just below, and that's what we want to go and, uh, go and locate.